Okay, let's take a look how preserving inequalities or preserving a balance looks pictorially. So if you can imagine, um, sorry about my poor drawings, but this being a balance beam and, and us trying to figure out what we need in these two boxes of X in order to keep these scales balanced, um, there's a couple different ways we can figure this out. And the way we want you to look at it is if you can imagine this four right here. Okay, right now four is beside our two X's and we want to kind of get our two X's by itself so we can figure out what these X's are. So you can imagine if we, if we take this four off of this side, this balance beam is going to drop this way. Our scales are going to be in balanced uh, and we'll end up um, with, an, with an imbalance in our scale and we don't want that. So in order to preserve the balance, what we need to do on this side is also take four away. And that will keep us balanced. So what our scales end up looking like, something like this. So now all of a sudden we have two X's on this side and 20 on this side. So what we have to figure out is what we need to do with 20 in order to make it look like our two X's. So if we divide our 20 up into two boxes, so say our scale turns like this. Then our scale looks like this. And we have our 20 up here that we need to divide into our two boxes. So our two boxes will balance out with our other two boxes. So if we take 20, and divide it by two, we will end up with 10 in each box. Okay, so now you can see that each box is basically 10. So we can now say that 10 is equal to X.